You know that guy Dean Kamen, that guy who invented the Segway, those two-wheeled vehicles you see people zipping around in? Well, he founded this competition called FIRST, and it now includes some 100,000 kids, 10,000 of whom are right here in Atlanta competing in a robotics competition. And that is where CNN's Reynolds Wolf fits in. He's there live to give us the scoop. Hi, Reynolds. Hi there. You know, they, we've got a, a great deal of, of future inventors here at the Georgia Dome. And they're not only inventing great machines, they're, they're also inventing a great deal of noise. They're very, very loud. Uh, this is a wonderful event. It actually began back in 1992 with about 28 teams in a gymnasium in New Hampshire. And now, here we are, fast forwarded to the present day, and we're live at the Georgia Dome with teams that are from not just across the United States, but across the world. I mean, earlier we saw a competition here with kids from places like Phoenix, Arizona, Novi, Michigan, uh, Brazil, Mexico, even the United Kingdom. But even though these teams come from all across the landscape, all across the globe, they have one common thread. This journey began only six weeks ago. It's a slam dunk at Atlanta's Carver School of Technology. A slam dunk, the high-tech kind. It's going to pull it up right here. The Carver Hypnobots made it to the National Robotics Finals. This is very a very good opportunity for me to get hands-on and also see my creations at work. The way we fix problems, we can actually test it out and see like what the problem is and add on to that basic idea. Coaches Kelsey Holick and Regine Logan say the team approach is a great way for the kids to learn. With this, there's an immediate feedback. Either it works or it doesn't work. They immediately see a result. And they help each other out. They really are a big family. They just want to be the engineers of tomorrow. A team mentor says that there's more to it than just winning. It's not, it's not even about the robot, really. It's about, it's about hard work and effort, and it's about finding things that are worth doing well. Here, I got, I got this one. Aaron, do you find it? You guys know if these batteries over there were All right, we're going to need the soldering iron. Kids from Milton High School in Alpharetta, Georgia, are veterans at the first robotics competition. Just the ability to, like, know that you're making something from scratch and then being able to watch it and drive it and look at it and know that you made it. Like, getting the hands-on experience is just so much better to actually learn because you hear it in the classroom and you kind of... If you don't really get to practice it, you don't really remember it. Coach Susie Crow loves to break stereotypes about because technology being difficult so and boring. I don't think a lot of people think of science and technology as creative, and there's nothing more creative. Like, I didn't really think I was very good at math or science, and then I started doing this, and pretty much my focus has shifted entirely. Like, I think I want to um, go to Georgia Tech and probably major in computer science. These smart kids compete in the global finals on Saturday. And you know, the, the competition here is really only part of the story. I mean, this is a very, very festive environment. We're not only dealing with great competition, we're also seeing some really incredible visuals in terms of what people are wearing. I mean, we're seeing some styles that would...